Good quality microphones for gaming and streaming are something that is hugely searched on the internet. And if you already have a good pair of headphones or a really nice headset, but you really wanted to up your microphone game without going into something like this big, bulky, or just obtrusive, possibly, um, mod mic might be something that you're interested in. Today, we're going to be checking the mod mic wireless and the mod mic USB out. So uh, let's have a look. My name is Chris, this is Coalition Gaming, and today I'll be your stream technician. Real quick, if you're new around here and are into PC hardware tech, gaming, stream tips, tutorials, news, and reviews, you're in the right place. Hit that subscribe button and that bell so you don't miss a single upload. Also, I stream every Friday at 8 p.m. Pacific to twitch.tv slash Coalition Gaming Crew, so make sure to stop on over there, drop us a follow, and let's talk some tech. Anyways, let's get to the video. So the guys at Antlion were kind enough to send out a mod mic wireless and a mod mic USB. So thank you guys for that. Let's uh, let's check them out here. We have a the the wireless one here in the bigger package, and there we go. Let's take that out real quick. There is the mod mic wireless. So um, not too big, not too heavy. Feels pretty well built. Just good gooseneck i like the resistance on the gooseneck so you you won't be worried about where you put the microphone at it'll just work really cool thing about the mod mic wireless that i do like though is that antlion has improved the wireless audio codec this isn't just some basic bluetooth or 2.4 gigahertz wireless codec or anything like that. This is something a little bit better that's called Aptex, and I'm just <laughs> verifying on the box. Aptex, low latency, five times faster than standard Bluetooth. What this basically means is you get more bandwidth with the computer, so the microphone ends up sounding better as a result. A lot of the times with wireless microphones on headsets, or rather wireless headsets with microphones, they don't sound that great. And honestly, like the best sounding one that I've seen is like the, the Corsair Virtuoso, which I think is like 150 to $200, depending on the version of it that you're looking at. And that's the first headset that in my opinion has had a wireless microphone that's worthwhile at all. And uh, then now there's this. Well, not now, it's been around a while, but you know, this is the first time we're checking it out, so yeah. Also in the packaging, we have an alcohol wipe that's in here as well, as well as the uh, attached is the magnetic clip that you're gonna be putting onto the headset, and a little wire management thing for the USB cable, as well as some extra sticky pads. Now the USB cable that I mentioned, um, it comes with the USB receiver here. Now the USB receiver has indicator LEDs for what's going on with the headset or with the microphone that is. You want to be able to see these as well as the simple fact as uh, your wireless stuff will work better the closer they are together. So you want it as close to you as possible but realistically one of the other benefits of that is you can see the LEDs on it. So to do that they include a USB extension cable so you can plug this in anywhere you need uh, probably the back of your computer and then run it to the front so you can plug Plug it in and keep an eye on the adapter. This is the standard, like the charge cable for it. It's micro USB, not type C or anything fancy, just micro USB, which I guess is fine for one of these. And there you go, that's everything in the package. I actually really do like the carrying case too. But let's also check out the USB wired one. So let's move on to that one. USB wired, opening that up. And there you go. Um, shoot, let's get that out. So when I say wired, they're not kidding. You don't need any USB extensions with this one. They give you plenty of length. Look at all that USB coiled up there. And again, this also has the same sort of mounting mechanism on it. And that's nice because you can switch back and forth between these two. So if you wanted one pair of headphones with the wireless microphone, you could do that. If you wanted another one with a wired one because maybe it's more stationary use, they got you covered. Now, you might think there's gonna be a big old mess with the USB cables on all this. Well, in the included packaging, as well as uh, additional sticky pads and an additional uh, headset mount. They have these little wire management plastic guys that uh, you just stick it with the, the cable of your headset, you pair it up, 
and you stick the, the wire management guys on it so you can basically treat the two things as one sort of unified cable. A really nice feature of the wireless mod mic that I like is simply the fact that you can mount it on more than just a pair of headphones or a, pair, or a headset or anything like that. If you're looking at upping your VR game, if you're streaming VR or just want to sound better with your microphone, you can also just slap this onto a VR headset using its mount and boom, improved microphone audio on your VR headset. So that's pretty neat. That's one use case with it. I've heard that there are also streamers that like they have a, a setup where they're standing around like this and that instead of having to use something like this in front of them that could block overhead camera shots as well, they mount it to another pair of headphones or uh, there are some uh, other streamers that wear something else, they mount it to that and kaboom. Now you have like uh, your own wireless headset that you can walk around with and be in different scenes or in different setups with your streaming stuff. So that's pretty neat. As far as the installation goes, you just uh, take the alcohol wipe, clean it up, uh, clean up the spot that you're gonna be installing it on, dry it off, stick it on, but you know, you wanna sort of pre-position it so you know exactly that it's going to be where you want it to be because it does only work a certain way. So if you stick it on wrong, you can end up with it here and then you adjust it down and then it's like here when it needs to be sort of down here. So just keep an eye on it before you stick it on because it's really good 3M tape that might be a pain to take off and then you end up burning through your extra, your, your extra double-sided tape pads there. So I've already put the mount on this side of this headset and kaboom, see, that's where I miscalculated it. But fortunately, it does have its adjustment. You turn it down and bam, wireless headset, perfectly positioned right there, boom. Fortunately, cool, a cool thing with this, like I mentioned, you can swap on the wired one as well. So we pull that guy off, we switch over here. Hey, there we go. Let's put this one back on just for convenience here. I'm gonna talk with you guys. We're not on this microphone, by the way, not yet at least. We're gonna get to the test in just a second. We're on my lavalier mic at the moment. Some cool features that these microphones do have though is a unidirectional and omnidirectional mode. And I believe the unidirectional mode is what they call noise canceling and omnidirectional mode is their, uh, their, well, their standard sort of best audio quality mode with that. Previous videos that I've seen on the mod mics is that the noise cancellation mode, or it's unidirectional, it, it does degrade the audio quality a little bit. I didn't feel personally that it did too much for noise cancellation, but again, we're gonna test that out. So let's get to that part now. All right, now we're down here at the desktop on the mod mic wireless, as you can see right here. And it's coming in raw into OBS, no filters, no nothing. This is how it sounds in, I believe it's in the omnidirectional mode right now. And I think the omnidirectional mode is the better sounding mode, but you guys can be the judge of that as well. So, uh, yeah, I mean, this is the demonstration of speaking here in the microphone. I'm just talking to you all using it, nice and casual. And uh, at first listen to, when I was configuring it though, it's pretty impressive how good it sounds for USB mic, well, technically USB through the connector, but more importantly for a wireless microphone. And uh, it's a super good solution if you need a portable mic, I guess you could say, a portable mic, or you have a portable setup, or if you have a more creative solution for it that like I'm thinking of a creative solution for it right now. I have my setup back there on the table and I stream from there too when I'm streaming every Friday on Twitch at 8 p.m. Pacific. Um, and I'm using that microphone that's on an arm. I don't really care for that too much, but if I could find a creative way to mount this wireless mod mic over there, um, you know what? Maybe I'll switch to the mod mic wireless up there and I won't have to worry about the arm getting in the way of anything because I want to set up an overhead camera, but the arm is like right in the way of the overhead camera over there. So. Uh, this presents an interesting solution like for streamers who do doing cooking streams or um, anything where they're at a table, maybe somebody doing like a bar, like a sort of a cocktail mixing uh, stream, DJs possibly as well, especially since they're wearing headphones and, you know, maybe they don't want to deal with another kind of microphone or more crap on their table, you know. So now this microphone is switched into the unidirectional mode, which I believe is the noise canceling mode. And I think the audio quality, the voice quality on it 
is a little different, but let's see how noise canceling it is because it's supposed to reject sounds from a, a outside of this range right here a little bit better. So I can actually just take the mic off and test that. So we're testing in the front in noise cancellation mode. Testing, 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 testing. And there you go. Now let's switch it back into the omnidirectional mode. So overall, this microphone does sound pretty good. Uh, let's switch over to the USB microphone and see if there's any noticeable audio quality difference. All right, now we're here with the normal USB microphone. And as you can see, we got the USB cable hanging off of it. The mute button in line right there, I really actually like, like that location of it because real quick, you can just grab it and <laughs> it's nice that it lights up as well the so you know it's muted kind of kind of helpful you know what i mean anyways this is me talking on this microphone again raw into obs nothing going on with it it's just this is everything that you get with this microphone in terms of audio quality and let's switch this one into the unidirectional noise cancellation mode as well <laughs> There we go. Now we're in the noise cancellation mode with this microphone. And uh, well, that means that it's going to be rejecting noise from all around. We're except for just the area right here. And well, it's going to be trying to. Let's see how it actually works. We'll do the rotation thing like I do with the other mic for a apples to apples comparison. So speaking directly into it, going around, going around, going around, going around, going around, back directly into it all right and uh, that was the noise cancellation test around it and well, what do you guys think let me switch it back into omnidirectional there we go this is the mod mic usb and that is the mod mic wireless and uh well let's review real quick and get my opinion on how it all sounds okay and we're back i went ahead and listened to the audio on both and i'm a little bit surprised actually I thought that I was going to like the wired one better, the USB microphone. And it does have a little bit more bass, but at the cost of sounding a little bit more muddy. And in a matter of speaking, it sounds more like a USB headset microphone than, than I thought it would. It's still a good sound, and I actually kind of like how the noise cancellation mode on that one works better than on this one. Now speaking to this one, I have one thing to say about the mod mic wireless. It's clear. It is very clear. I, I really like the clarity that it has over the other microphone, but the, uh, the, I guess the sort of downside to that clarity is that it doesn't have a lot of bass. So if you're able to pull this into OBS, throw a VST plugin on it or some sort of uh, some sort of equalizer on it and give a little bit more bass on it, it would sound fantastic. But as far as clear vo voice audio, it's top notch, man. This is probably the best wireless mic you could get. And I mean, without having to spend a ton of money on a, like an expensive an expensive ass uh, Corsair or other type of uh, headset that's wireless, but that has an okay microphone on it. You can just get this. You can even just stick this onto an existing, uh, an existing gaming headset, which is you know like this one. I removed the microphone on this one because I don't use it. But when you got microphones like this one or mod mics, I would probably just <laughs> use one of these. USB microphones, especially small ones like this, can be a tricky game. And I feel like Mod Mic gets it right. This sounds fantastic in terms of clarity. Like I said, could use a little bit of bass. But the other microphone has the bass that this one lacks at the cost of a little bit more muddier noise. But either way, they're both good. I, I, I can't really complain. They're both very good for the money. Speaking of the money, these microphones cost uh, about $120 for the wireless and that would be 80 bucks for the USB. I believe the wired one, let me double check here, the ModMic Uni attachable microphone is 50 bucks. So $50 to $120 for the different levels of ModMic. So you have an expensive set of headphones, headset, whatever the case is. You don't need to shell out for another expensive 
pair of you know headset or i guess you don't need a shella at all if you already have headphones that are really good just get one of the mod mics throw it on there and voila all right and we are back here so what'd you guys think the microphones actually sounded pretty good um all things considered i was a little again i was a little surprised with the usb one having that different of a tone to it versus the wireless one but you know hey they both sounded great what kind of microphone do you guys use is this something that you guys would prefer to go with or does the convenience and portability of a mod mic uh, entice you is that something you would get Drop a comment down below. Let's talk about it. If you haven't already, hit that subscribe button. We'd really appreciate it. And if you like this video, you know what to do. Follow us on all our socials, Twitter, Instagram, Facebook. Join our Discord. All links to all that stuff will be down in the description below, as well as links to these products if you wanted to check them out. That'll do it for me today. Thank you all for watching, and we'll see you in the next video. Also, we got plenty of other videos right over here. Recommended RTX 3080 budget builds, RTX 3080 review, general budget builds, all sorts of other stuff. Make sure you check it out. Stream tips, tutorials, we got all that. So, uh, okay. Bye.